Check out this super cool Lego Roomba robot I made. It's got two color sensors, two distance sensors, four motors, and two Lego Mindstorms robot inventor hubs. These hubs are centered and it's got so many cool features I couldn't even tell you all about them in this YouTube short. I was planning on making a full video about them, even wrote a giant script, and then realized that the code is super faulty and wasn't gonna be able to record it functioning properly. So I'll just show you some of the basics right here in this video. Here's how it works. You have this pad on the bottom, which is powered by these two motors. Basically how this works, is you have a mechanism right here where it turns it and rotates the pad all the way around just like this. This would be happening a lot faster if the motors were powering it, and that's thanks to this super cool gear ratio, which I implemented right here. It's got back wheel drive with a motor for each side and uses sort of a tank steering type approach for steering in place or just steering in any sort of way. And it's able to do this thanks to these awesome glider wheels in the Mindstorm set, which you can just easily slide side to side, but also spin nicely on the bottom here. Now the color sensors actually have to be this wide for a very specific reason. And that's because if we come over here to the edge, you can see that when you're turning, you want the color sensor right here to go off the edge of the table before the wheel does, because if the wheel goes off the edge of the table, then your pad falls down and then the whole robot might get stuck or worse, completely fall off. So to prevent this, that's why the color sensors are so far out there on the side. This also helps it align itself with the edge. So these distance sensors up here on the top are to prevent it from running into any sort of water bottles or anything sitting on a table that's tall enough for it to hit and knock over. Both hubs are positioned in a way where the charging port is actually facing outward. This is really practical for when you wanna charge the robot, less practical for when you wanna actually press these buttons that are here for controlling it. That's why I have this knob which presses the center button for both hubs at the exact same time. So you can turn both of them on and then you also have these sort of side button type levers here at the bottom for this okay so i accidentally turned it on but as you can see here when you interfere with it it actually corrects itself and stays on its trajectory here you can see it aligning itself well and it looks like the program is going to actually work for you in this video so you can see it driving around oh no it's running into stuff Oh, it's backing up. I don't know what this robot's doing, but it's pretty cool to watch, isn't it? Let's see, does it align itself with this edge? Oh, and it did, look at that. It aligned itself with the wall in the studio. Now let's see, is it gonna run off the edge? I hope not because these electronics are quite expensive and, oh, it did stop itself. 